what's going on guys? It's with Custom Assets, Custom Assets TV on the YouTube today. I'm here with Jared. Yo. We're back with another episode of Head to Head. So we're gonna take two sets of ads from our gallery. We're gonna compare them left versus right, and then we're gonna count them down and pick which is our favorite and why. And today is all of the Cumminses generation. <laughs> How do you spell Cumminses? Is it like lots of Cummins, S S S Z Z Z S S S Z S S Like Before we do that though, if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, performance parts, bumpers, headlights, taillights, t-shirts, coffee cups like this one, spike lug nuts, customhouses.com. We do have wallets, it's great. We have everything actually. Also, we're giving away our SEMA truck if you haven't heard. You can check that out at customhouses.com forward slash giveaway. With that, I think we Let's can get look at it. some Rams and Dodges. Actually, yes, both, surprising enough. You can go first. Let's start with the first gens. Alrighty, so with first gens, we got on the left here, well, on the viewers' On their right, right but our left. Whoa. 1993 Dodge W250. She's Decent. on some uh, fuel hostages. If you got fuel hostages, you got fuel hostages, baby. And a 22 by 14 negative 70 offset with some amp MTs and a 325.50, which is a 35-ish by almost 13. Ooh, interesting, okay. It's pretty wide. If that's, that's a beefy boy. If that's yeah. right, it looks like it's pretty squared. And so. that's a 24? 22, 14. Um, they might that's just probably be a pretty accurate. Yeah, 13 yeah. and a half. It's pretty close. Hard to say. It's got an aftermarket front bumper, it looks like. We'll go back. Gotta oh, yeah. have the uh, Cummins six speed. Two of them. UL. Two Cummins stickers in the back window so you know that it's a Cummins because you wouldn't know without it. Yep. He's part of the Alberta coal rollers, it looks like, and he's also got a manual trans in there. <laughs> Wait, I can assume. you say can you say that that province again? Alberta? Alberta? Alberta. El Alberta. Welcome to Hooked on Phonics. I'm your host, Dustin. Today we're gonna teach Jared how to say Canadian provinces. It's Alberta. He's from Canada? Yo, I don't know where Alberta is. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Just, it doesn't even say Canada. All right, fair enough. Why isn't there a giant fucking moose and a maple tree? Oh, there's a maple leaf right there, actually. Never mind. <laughs> Canadia for you. All right, we covered that. Okay. So on our right, your left, I've got a 1993 Dodge W250. This one's on TIS 544s in the black and milled in a 24 by 12, so a little bit bigger diameter, a little narrower. Fury Country Hunter MT 35, 12 and a half, and it's on a custom lift kit. Let me see here if he has any details. He says iron 4K, obviously it's four link there. Yep. Looks super dope, big front bumper on there, aftermarket grill, retrofit in the headlights. I mean, just super, the super dual cool on this thing. bed stack. Yeah, hexagons nonetheless, yep. so it's like, all gnarly looking. Roll pan. Yep, roll pan in the back. I dig like the two tone going yep. through the middle, and then yep. he carried it into the tail, like yeah. into the tailgate there. It just flows nicely through. Yeah. All. LED tails. He's I mean, he's got mud flaps. I don't know how big a fan of them I am, but I don't. You know, I don't hate them. I think um, it looks really good because it matches the white, right? Yeah, it kind of yep, drops, yep. and then it's got that see-through bit there. So really good looking truck. I dig this one. I'm ready to go. I know which one's my favorite already. Yeah, let's do are. it. Three, two, one, right. right. Yeah. I mean, without a doubt, dude. That truck's beautiful, it looks really good. I dig that that one's on 14 wides. Yep. I think it looks a little bit beefier, but this thing is done so well. The 544s with the four, it just, it just looks really good. I 100% agree, it's, it's just, it, yeah. Everything's it just done is. right. And it's done cleanly too. Like there's a lot of aftermarket done to it, but it's all done simple. Like it gives you like an OEM headlights. plus feel yeah, almost. Yep. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Cool, let's move on to second gens. My least favorite generation. I do not like second gens, I'm sorry. Someone is going to roast you for that. How can you not like second gens? You know why? You know why you don't like second gens? Why? Because you've never seen Twister. Probably a good thing. Oh, weird! A second gen <laughs> with a fourth gen bumper. It's a little common. All right, go. What do you got? All right, I got an O2 Ram 20. I don't got these. Are picked for us. I am not choosing these. Yeah. Which which one are you presenting right now? How okay, about I just that? Just want to make that clear. O2 Ram 2500 <laughs> Cummins on <laughs> KG1 Forge 2414s, the Ooh. Aristo, and a 2414 negative 76. Got the Venom Power 33 14 and a half and a leveling kit. Yes. That's more than a leveling kit. I don't believe that. It says suspension lift six and a half. Oh, maybe he's got it stacked. Though. I see bypass shocks. Yeah, There's no way that's a there. leveling kit. It says brand leveling kit, suspension six and a half. So he did something. Oh, here you go. Three inch spring with a three inch leveling kit. Okay. So it's kind of modge podge together. Is that even a word? It looks good though. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's so simple to lift these trucks too though, right? With that solid front axle. Yep. But it's a decent looking truck. I dig that color. That silver yeah. super neat. Listen, you can throw all the shade you want, but the fourth gen bumper looks good on these trucks. Oh, I don't mind it. It's just, you see it all the time when people post about them. It's like, oh, weird another second gen of the fourth gen because it's like overplayed but i don't mind it i mean i've got a super duty bumper like 
you could argue the same thing with Fords and doing the 6.4 bumpers or the new Illumin Duty bumpers. Yeah, absolutely. I dig the, the powder coat on the suspension. Yep. All right, let's look yeah. at yours. All right, I have a 95 Ram 2500. Uh, this one's on American Force Peaks in a 26 by 14 with a 38, 15 and a half Country Hunter MT, obviously made by Fury on an eight inch lift kit. This thing is deceiving, right? Because I looked at that and I was like, cool 35s and 24s. And yeah. then I realized that it's an eight inch lift kit and those are 38s. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful red color, clear headlights, a little bit of powder in the front end with the sway bars and stuff. And that was a single cab. This was extended cab, so yeah. I was just looking at to kind of compare. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know that I dig these wheels. Let me see them. They kind of remind me of like the like the Axe Artemis. They have that yeah, like what chunky spoke. Uh, they're American Force Peaks. Mm -hmm. They have that kind of chunky like, like eight thick, spoke yeah. with like the, the milling and the raised lip on the inside. I don't know. I'm a huge fan of those, but dig the color. I think it's done well. It's obviously been repainted or he took very good care of this truck. Um, it's a little tooted. Yeah, just a wee bit. Does he say anything about that? Fox coilovers with Eibach springs, measures out to, measured out to an eight inch lift. Uh, shocks have a total travel of 14 inches. You could jump this thing. You, you could jump this thing. Damn, that's wild. This is a hard one because I agree with you on the wheel and tire setup on this one I think yeah. I like better. That one's bigger and I like that a lot more. Plus it's not, well they're both on forged wheels, um, but on 38s versus like 33s. Yeah. There's a lot They're going to be, here. and that's what's wild about the galleries. It's hard to tell from that, but you're going to have a whole lot of difference between those two trucks. I mean, yep. it's wild. All right, um, all right, I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one, left. left. Yep. I, I think I have to, I, it's hard because like, I feel like no matter what, any truck on 30, it just looks good because it's gotta be massive. It's so big, those. right, yeah. And like, it, it's all body matched, it's all done, and it, like, it just looks really good, but something about the suspension setup on this one and having that pop of color in there and then like the steamroller look, just there's something about it, and I'm sure you could easily make this thing like 800 horsepower too yeah. and just have it be a fast street truck. Um, this wild. thing's also got a bunch of LED lights and everything like that, yeah. so it's all just the cab lights, it's just, it, it, it's complete. And this one might have it too, it's hard to tell. Those guys really like second gens. Applause. <laughs> Hold the sign. All right, moving on. I'm gonna go next on this one. Up next, we are on to the third gens, and we're looking at an 07 Dodge Ram 2500 Moto Metal MO 988s, which is not a super popular wheel anymore. And a 20 by 12 minus 44 uh, Toyo Open Country MTs and a 37, 13 and a half with a five inch Rough Country lift kit. This thing is straight out of 2007. Yeah. Like this is I forgot such, those wheels existed. This is such a period correct build it almost hurts me. Like it a little bit of chrome in the bumper, a little bit of chrome in the headlights and the grill, obviously the chrome wheels. Got to have the tow mirror slipped, mirror slipped up. up, big old boat behind him. Like this is a, a little bit of a dated build but it still looks good. Yeah. You know, it's super neat. So, I dig this thing. I uh, I mean, I don't know if he's got any details in here. Looks like he trimmed a little bit of plastic, some of the fender well. He's got a sound system in it. I mean, pretty, again, pretty average third gen Cummins build. Yeah. I dig it. I think it looks really good. Yeah. I've got a 08 Ram 2500 on some American Force uh, AKSS's in 24 by 14 with some amp ATs in a 37, 12 and a half and a Rough Country seven and a half inch lift kit. I love that wheel. Whoa. Oh. It's like, like shimmery. It's gotta be wrapped. I would assume so. And are those Archons? That thing's wild, dude. Like that wrap I, is insane. Yeah. So I don't know if some of these, some of these must be wrapped and some must not. Yeah, correct, yep. I would assume. It looks like he's got some updated photos because there's the forces. Yes, okay, yep. Okay. Yeah, so he must have had a, had a mix here, which if you're gonna be adding new setup to the gallery, just make a whole new like gallery profile. Like correct. leave the one you had there, take new photos with your wrap, with your new wheels, and then add that again because people are gonna have different looks and different fitment setups with one size versus another, so. Yeah, my truck's in the gallery like eight times with the same lift kit, but they're all different wheel and tire setups, so. Yep, okay, this thing's this thing's pretty gnarly. I dig it, I dig the paint match, like in the rear tails, you could see his, his rear tails were paint matched. Yep. Um, just the, the whole flow of it looks super, super good. I can't tell if that's a polished wheel or if it's brushed. It almost looks brushed. I don't know, it might be polished and just always dirty. Like, I mean, I feel that, listen, forged wheels are cool, but. Better get the old arm greased up and be ready to polish wheels all the time. About this build. Tall AF. <laughs> you s chime in. All right. All right, so we got Battle of the Third Gens here. Let me get a good picture so we can You know, I like them. the third gens more than I like the second gens. I'm just gonna Them's say Them's fighting words. People are gonna roast you. I, I don't disagree, however. The late third gens. The early third gens are just as bad as second With the, with the, two, with the two bubble headlights. Beep, beep. Yeah. 
All right, let's pick one. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Raft. Right. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. I think when I look at a third gen Cummins, this is by all definitions a period correct build. I think you could update it a little bit. 2414s would probably help, but like. That's OG, old school, super correct, looks awesome, and it's super functional. And I agree, I I just would rock the shit out of this, I feel That's like. That's fair. And I don't know, just something about like the forged wheels, the, well, or the Archons, depending on what time you took the photos. <laughs> the wrap's pretty wild. I don't know if that's necessarily my favorite, but I like how it kind of looks subtle until the light hits it. And it's so like, that, wham! Yeah, so, I don't know, but a lot done to this thing too. Um, the yours, I, right, 14 wise would have been sick, and then like a mesh grill of some kind. Yeah, of something to, to update that a little clean bit. Clean it up a little bit. Let's talk about fourth gens. All right, I got a lime green 2010 Dodge Ram 2500 on some American Force Independence and a 2414 with some more amps, this time they're the MTs and the 37. Why you got so many half. amps? I don't know, I, I mean, I, I like amps. They're great tires. Uh, BDS 8-inch lift kit. Uh, no way, I also have one on a BDS 8-inch lift kit. Interesting. Ooh, and 2414s? Yeah, and 2414s. And 37s? 40s on mine. Oh line. no. <laughs> okay, but you don't have wrap inside of the lips of your wheels. I have seen this truck before, and that is hands down one of the coolest attention to details I've ever seen in my life. I love that. You don't see a lot of guys that do that. And that like, that. it's super intense, it's super in-depth, and it looks The artwork is so insane. So cool. And it's really, fundamentally, it's not that hard to do. No. It's a printed wrap, so it goes on like a sticker. You apply it all the way around, and somewhere in there, there's a seam, right? I assume on the top, but like, that's super that dope. That becomes the bottom, though, when you're driving. Well, yeah, but it's going pop, 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 pop. Yeah, but then you park, and it's not always gonna be at the top. Well, that's why you bring a jack, and then you turn your wheel and set it back down. <laughs> oh, okay. There's guys that do that, seriously. <laughs> there are guys that do that. Uh, aftermarket headlights. Uh, oh, this one's got a fourth-gen bumper. Does yours have a fourth-gen bumper? I mean, what? I would. I would hope so. What? Why do we like you? I don't know. Looks like he's got some paint to match powder coat, something like that. Yep. He's got the mesh grill, mesh in the bumper as well. Uh, I wish the coil over had. Was that lime yes. green? Yeah, it would really pop out of there. That's like the one thing he's missing, and that's just me getting really picky with it. But okay, let's look at yours. Uh, all right, so I got an 11 Ram. Like Christmas colors going yeah, on. Yeah, red and green. 11 Ram uh, 2500. This one's on Crown Series Victories by the one and only Archon and a 24 by 14 minus 81. Maxus Razor MTs and a 40 by 15 and a half and that eight inch BDS suspension lift kit. A little bit more subtle on this one, right? So red on red with the wheels, you know, aftermarket grill. Looks like he could use a little window tint up front maybe. Um, wheel lights. Wheel lights though, and rock lights. You can see him peeking out oh, through yeah. the wheel wells there. I cannot get over, this thing has to be huge, right? Do you remember yeah. Rainy's truck and yeah. how big that was? This is on that level. Yep. Like it's, it's gonna be massive. I dig the red, I think it looks super good. Other than that, it's a relatively simple build, I would say. I kind of like how beefy it is being on the eight inch with the 40s, like yeah. stuffing those into there. Crew have, long, so it's freaking massive. Does he have his uh, trimming details on there? Um, Let's see here. Nope, just says that he, oh, says major metal trimming. Oh, okay. Which This guy I says would, he has no trimming, but that might be questionable. Yeah, I don't no. think he did. Oh, oh no. Look at the front bumper. I don't think he's trimmed. Maybe he doesn't. You can see he's notched the front bumper here, yeah. and I assume if I can find a good photo of it. Did these rub it, in the back, or is it just on the front bumper? The I assume so they tall. had to probably. Yeah, you can see he's notched that whole front bumper yeah. here. Yeah. So Interesting. Okay. All right, smoke tails. Other than that, pretty simple build. Let's pick them. Three, two, one, left. Right. I love the really? stuff 40s look. Yes, I personally wouldn't own a red vehicle just because red screams just too like out Screams there pull for me, me over. It's, yeah. the number, it's the number one ticketed color, actually. Yeah, so that alone, I don't know that I pick. I, just, I love the setup. Um, sure. The 40s with the eight inch, it looks good. And sure, the left one's got a little bit more done to it and everything yep. like that, and I love everything about it, but some about those 40s stuffed in there, man, I don't know. I think I'm the same way with the other one. I would never own that, that green is too much for me. I prefer much deeper, darker, more rich colors. But I think for me, I really dig, like the thing that does it for me is that attention to detail. It is that wrap laid in those wheels. It is the the very selective powder coating you know, or paint on the suspension parts. It, it's all of that stuff that just makes it the go-to for me. That's the one, so. Yep. They're both sick builds. Yeah, they're wild. That truck's gonna look nasty rolling down the road though, oh, yeah. with those 40s. Ooh, Beefy. my gosh. All right, now my favorite generation. I also dig the fifth gens. 2019 Ram 2500 on a Crazy Customs eight inch suspension lift okay. with forces, uh, the Sprint CC and the 2614 negative 90 offset and then some RBP 37, 13 and a half. Minus 90 on a 14, so it's that gotta be wheels, a concave wheel. It is, a, yep, yeah. it is a concave wheel. I like it. I love concave wheels, they look so good. Team cool. billet. I do like the fifth gen front ends on the 2500s more than the 1500s. So yes, absolutely, 210%. That has all of these going from, because obviously we're doing Cummins's. 
Uh, he's got some minor plastic trimming and slight rub at full turn. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, I mean, really, again, pretty simple build. Love the color, looks good. I think the polished and blue pops. Um, yeah. Braden Price, uh, a YouTuber, has a, a Silverado High Country in that like Chevy's deep blue oh. like that with some forged wheels, and it looks super good. So I've always been a big fan of that. On my side, I've got a 19 Ram 2500. This one's an American Force Octane SS's in a 26 by 14. Uh, he's on Fury Country Hunter MTs in a 37, 13 and a half and a seven and a half inch striker off-road lift kit. I've seen this thing a ton of times. There's a bunch of photos. Shout out to the, you know, uh, the homie over at Grounded Visuals for sending these in. Fantastic pictures. He always does really good work. This thing's nuts, dude. That grill's pretty sick. Black on black. It lights up. I don't know if he's got, yep. Oh, so it lights up that like, that like I light like that. purple yeah. that the wheel rings and stuff are. Um, just a super, super, Solid build, looks really great. Could use an exhaust tip, you know, maybe an axle dump or something. Like but... those TSO, like the hexagon yeah, ones, that'd be yeah, pretty yeah, sick yeah, with yeah. the milling on it and stuff. Yeah, but I mean, other than that, just a really, really solid looking truck. He's got a bunch of details in here. Um, the lift is powdered black, and then it, there's some machining out of there. He's got chassis unlimited front and rear bumpers, um, some light bars, some pods, some rock lights, a switch panel, uh, Royal Hooks front and in the, you know, the front and rear bumpers, Gen Y torsion flex hitch. I mean, literally, yeah, overkill fab, uh, grill, satin black emblems. It, Jeez. Everything about this thing has been touched, and yep. I dig it. I love the little pop of color in the taillights, too. It looks super good. So, hell yeah. Damn. This is going to be a tough one. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't... Oh, I do. Is this one a mega cab, too? All right. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, right. right. I, I have to. There's just so much done to that thing that you could just jump in it and drive it anywhere and yeah. turn heads. Just does it for me. It's a neck breaker. It looks super good. Let's see if he's on Instagram. <gasps> he blocked you. He has you blocked. Bad. He has you blocked. Oh no. Just kidding, maybe not. He probably does. Oh look, there's Lawson down. Uh, hanging out with the truck, you know what I'm saying? Wow, is that General Lee? Uh, no, it's uh, something else. I, I was trying to come up with something <laughs> that could. All right guys, so there's another episode of Head Dead. Thank you so much for watching. second gen from Twister. <laughs> Are you okay? Jared's out of here, he's never coming back. With that, if you want a chance for your truck to be featured, make sure you add it to the gallery. And of course, if you need wheels, tires, or suspension, you can find those at customoffsets.com. Peace. Peace.